This is Senator Richard Bryan, and I'm honored to introduce my friend of many years, a dynamic woman, Helen Foley. Helen Foley's family is steeped in Nevada's history. Her mother's family, the Bradshaws, settled in Elgin, Nevada in 1865 during the Civil War. Her mom, Betty, attended and then taught in a one-room schoolhouse built by her father, Reuben Bradshaw, in 1926. It remains today as part of the Nevada State Park System. The Foley's arrived in Nevada in 1902, locating in Goldfield during the famous gold rush. After fires burned down most of the town, her grandparents, Roger and Helen Foley, moved with their five boys to Las Vegas, Nevada in 1928. Roger became a district court judge, and then in 1945, was appointed by Franklin Delano Roosevelt to the federal bench. Four of their five boys served in World War II. All of the Foley brothers became attorneys and each served in public office, a state senator, district attorneys, attorney general, federal and state judges, and as a regent for the University of Nevada system. In fact, the Foley served 92 years of consecutive public service in Nevada. It's little wonder that Helen followed in their footsteps becoming the youngest woman ever elected to the State Assembly and Senate. Unlike today, there were only two women in the Senate in 1983. As governor, I worked closely with Helen on a variety of issues, and she sponsored two bills on my behalf, one that banned legislators from soliciting or accepting campaign contributions during a legislative session, and another one that mandated a cooling off period of at least one year for gaming control board and commission members before they could work in the gaming industry after leaving government employment. She also passed the mastectomy bill that forced insurance companies to pay for reconstructive surgery after mastectomies. This was a full 10 years before an equivalent federal law was passed. From domestic violence legislation to opening up Nevada for national banking, Helen was a powerhouse. As you can imagine, Helen has politics running through her blood. In 1986, she ran for Congress with the slogan, Give Em Helen. After a hard-fought battle, she lost by 1,142 votes. But who's counting? Since that time, she has served as an advocate for many issues in Nevada, involving the home building industry, health care, telecommunications, insurance, and a variety of other issues. Every session, she also works with the Junior League to help lobby for issues of importance to women and children. More than 20 years ago, she co-founded an all-female public relations and government affairs firm, Fess Foley Warren, with her business partners, Linda Fess and Melissa Warren. She has also served as part of the production team at every Democratic National Convention since 1988 and served as co-chair of the Nevada Barack Obama Steering Committee. Family has always played a major role in Helen's life. Her parents, Betty and Joe Foley, welcomed nine children in 10 years at St. Rose de Lima Hospital in Henderson. They all went to St. Anne and Bishop Gorman High School and continue to remain close by taking annual family cruises and vacations, as well as demonstrating for passionate causes. In 2002 and 2003, Helen adopted two infants, Grace and William, who are 10 months apart. Now 16 and 15, they provide her with the greatest joy and fulfillment that a mom can have. We congratulate her on this great honor bestowed by the Junior League of Las Vegas. Please help me welcome and thank your Lifetime Achievement honoree, former State Senator Helen Foley.